Hi guys. Alrighty. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. Um, got to spend some time with the family and whatever y'all do on the weekends. I hope it was good for you. Um, we went out to uh, a place with our friends. Had wonderful food. Uh, the chicken fried steak. That was so good. They have a small size, which I ate. But then they have a large size, which is platter. It's like a honking platter. And I told Hot Stuff, I said, you know what? We should get a large one and we'll split it. But we decided we're hungry. We're going to eat one piece of the small ones. So, yeah, it was great. Had a really great time. Um, my friend brought this with her. She found this. I, I think it's called Ross. I don't remember. Because I don't think I've ever. I think it may have been Ross one time. I don't know. Any hoozles. This is a clear pouch. And the sticker that was right here says that I can touch my phone while it's in here. And then the back side. And uh, it's so cute. Like this is perfect to take um, my crochet with me to church. And uh, But the hot stuff's got to get some goo gone. Because I took off that sticker. And I tried to lay vinegar on it, and it didn't work too well. And uh, so he says something about Goo Gone or something. I'm not sure what that is. Um, I don't know why companies do that. Don't put a sticker on stuff. That's not cool. So, um, I don't know what's going on. And, y'all, I'm about to fly off the handle. This week marks the fourth week with no AC. I live in Texas. It's going to be over 100 degrees all week. The, the manager here sick, keeps saying, well, we're trying to get the parts. We're trying to get a technician out here. Blah, 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 blah. Y'all, it is Texas. And it's a big city. There should be plenty of technicians. Plenty. They did put a portable AC in the bedroom because that's the only window that'll work on that. Um, and so our bedroom is like 69 degrees, 70. But that's not going to help me out here. You know, in my living room, dining room, all that area, kitchen, it's 75 right now in my, in my house. No, 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 85. Because I was like, there's no way it's 75. 85. The other day it was 88. I'm not happy. I'm not happy. I did call corporate and I said, listen, this isn't going to work. I said, legally in Texas, you have three days to get this fixed. And um, it's now four weeks. Uh, I don't know. She's really nice. The girls in our office is really nice. The corporate lady was super nice too. But I, I feel like I may have to just jump up my step a little bit because I've been trying to be very nice about it. I really have, but you can only do so, you can only take so much. And I'm trying to step in and take care of it because hot stuff. He when he gets mad, he gets mad. And I said, hey, at the end of the day, we still need to live here. So I've been trying to handle it, and I don't think it's working for me to handle it. Um, I don't know. One second, please. <clears throat> Sorry, y'all. The dry mouth thing has not gone away. <clears throat> so, now that I'm through crapping about stuff, this is what I did over the weekend. I got, um, I got yarn, my scrap yarn, and put it in a giant bag I found at Goodwill. It was brand new at the Goodwill when I bought it a while back. It's one of these big Aldi. Is that right? How do you say that? Aldi? Uh-oh. Anyway, so I put a hunk of scraps in there and just going, what am I sitting on? 
Uh, sorry, sorry. So I just put scraps in there and uh, yeah, make, I'm sorry, make uh, the diagonal granny squares using my scraps. Do the colors match on some of these? No. Do I care? No. I thought these would be cute for scraps. So I did that. Um, also, I I have a lot of crochet pat patterns started. And even Hot Stuff was like, honey, do you really need another project? And I was like, yes, I do. Because here's my thinking really quick. We are not guaranteed tomorrow. We're not guaranteed that. In my world, God's going to come get me. Okay? So we're not guaranteed tomorrow. So if I want to start 30 projects, I'm going to start 30 projects. For me, it's about the journey. Because honestly, what am I going to do with all the stuff that I make? So for me, the journey is the way to go. And, um, and I feel I did that with cross stitch too. I've started a lot of things. I need to get a quilt going or try to get it finished up this week. Um, cause, uh, hot stuff's part of the arena team. We go to a cowboy church and we have an arena. We do barrel racing in and, um, different activities for people and for families and stuff like that. So, um, they need, they're trying to raise the money to really get our ministry back up in order since the pastor got voted out. The pastor was a lot of problems. A lot of problems. And I think, and a lot of us think that if we can get our arena back up and running like we, should, we used to have, that the people will come. So, you know, that's all I can hope and pray for. And my side of it is I'm going to try to do some quilts for them to auction off. Hot um, Stuff and I brainstormed last night about some things. Um, and, I, and I think I'm going to have uh, be able to do it. You all remember the cross blanket I did? That was the cross with the white background. Well, Hot Stuff said, hey, what, can you do this cross thing with bandanas? And I said, yeah, yeah, because he knew I did my other blanket with bandana. And uh, he's like, do you think it's going to cost a lot? And I said, honey, I really don't know. I said, but you know what we could do is have the families of the church donate bandanas. So that way, a little piece of them is also in the quilt. I think that's a great idea. I think that'll really work if people bring like two or three bandanas and um, really, that would be so cool. That would be so cool. And maybe have a silent auction for it or something. I don't know, but I already promised them. I said, whatever y'all need, I'll try to get it done. So there's only way I can help it because I can't help financially, uh, but I can help raise money for a wonderful cause. So anyway, and then I started um, the square dance blanket. These are um, just, they're done with squares. Isn't that cute? Let me see if I can, let me see here. Isn't that cool? I'm using a, um, uh, I 5.5 millimeter hook and uh, I, I, y'all remember that blue yarn I got a long time ago and I just had it sitting there and I'm not sure what to do with it because it's so much my brain went off on a little scavenger hunt I guess I don't know what she does up there anymore I did find three dead hamsters and a mouse but um, I decided to get this tote and make some squares. 
I think that would really work and just may I don't know I'm gonna give this one to the church I think to auction off I don't really know but um, so cute and it's called square dance crochet blanket um, I want to say yarn inspirations yeah yarn inspirations um, through Karen and they use the Karen one pound I'm using Karen simply soft um, that Karen one pound to me is not a four weight yarn it's it's like going towards a five but I don't know and they also use a J six millimeter hook um, so I don't know their squares come out about eight inches mine are coming out about six because I'm using a smaller hook and smaller yarn um, and the thing is you just got to play with it I know I've seen a lot of things going on in my group today about people trying to figure out how to do a blocking board and stuff like that and I desperately want to say to them if you just go up in hook size you will never need to block again that is what I do when I start with worsted weight yarn regular worsted weight yarn I immediately pick up a six millimeter hook and if I don't like it I don't cut anything or whatever but if I don't like it I take it out and um, go up the hook sizes and eventually you'll find one that'll lay flat because this one this one lays flat no problem this is not blocked it's not blocked I don't do blocking I ain't got the patience for it too and so I also want to do the carpenter wheel C to C pattern but I'm not gonna do that just yet but I did get my notes lined out so I stuff was like, what is all this writing? I said, this is how my brain works. I have to plan things out to the, you know, to the second of it. Um, because if I don't know, I don't remember stuff. So if I lose my information in my head about that, I'm screwed. Like, I need to know the crochet hook size, what yarn I'm using, da 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 So, anyway, I need to wrap it up because we're at 12 minutes already. But I've been reading this one. Oh, if you aren't religious or anything like that, you can you can DX the video. Uh, this is for the folks that uh, want to stay around and uh, maybe are religious, maybe do believe in God. If you don't know God, stick around, okay? So, um, I love Charles Stanley. He's so good. He's so good. How to reach your full potential for God. Never settle for less than his best. I love Charles Stanley's books. I mean, he goes in depth. Really hardcore depth. Um, and this one too, The Will of God. Understanding, pursuing his ultimate plan for your life. Love that so much. And um, I take in a lot of their notes. I call it, they're called tip-ins. But, um, yeah, I, I'm glad I stumbled across a video that said, hey, you know what? It's okay to doodle in your Bible. It's okay to write stuff down, you know, and, and put in tip-ins and stuff like that. It's okay. And now that I truly feel that, I'm doing my Bible study a lot more than I've been doing. So, um, let me check how long this next chapter is. Uh, for the oh come on because I may have to wait on it to do another chapter okay we'll do this next week it's too long and I'm running out of time it's not I'm running out of time I just don't want y'all to be like can you hush already so I love you guys I take care and let me tell you something for those that don't know God personally my email is always down below I may not have the answers, but if I can get, just talk to one person, just one person a day, that's better than I, I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? I want y'all to know Jesus as your Lord and Savior. He's such an amazing man. He is a provider. He's just an amazing God. I'm so 
thankful and blessed that I have life in him. I, I couldn't have made a better decision. Because God never leaves us. It's us that goes down the bunny trails. And then we get stuck. And God's standing beside us. Are you ready to give up? And, and believing in Christ is the best thing you could do. Especially when the world is at turmoil, turmoil right now. This world is not going well. And I think it's, he's going to come back pretty soon. I, I don't want to be one of those people that are like, He's coming back right now. But I think, I don't know if I'll see it in my lifetime. Because I'm 41. I don't know if I'll see it in my lifetime. But I think, I think my kids might. Or I might. You never know. God already knows what's going on for us. He already has it all planned. He knows down to the millisecond. So, uh, reach out to somebody if you don't know Christ as your Lord and Savior. I love y'all. Take care.